Initiating SPI data transfer. This block diagram represents the SPI circuit in the microcontroller. To start SPI data transfer, the microcontroller set the slave select signal low. If PB2 is selected as the slave select pin, this C instruction will set PB2 pin to low. To initiate a data transfer, send the data to the SPDR register. This C instruction sends the data hex 34 to the SPDR register. Upon executing the instruction, the microcontroller initiates the clock signal and the data is sent out serially. At the same time, data from the slave arrives at the buffer register. Once 8 bit of data is exchanged, the data in the buffer is transferred to the SPDR register. The microcontroller sets the SPIF flag to 1 to indicates the completion of the SPI transfer. Therefore, after this C instruction, the next instruction is to monitor the SPIF flag. This instruction waits for the SPIF flag to become 1. Reading the SPDR register clears the SPIF flag to 0. Use this instruction to read the SPDR register by transferring its data to a variable called X. Data transfer is complete. Microcontroller deselects the slave by pulling the slave select signal to high. This is the instruction to pull PB2 to high. Remember the first instruction to select the slave select signal. This is the complete instruction to initiate a SPI data transfer.